F-35 fighter jets soar across the Coeur d'Alene airport today. These Marine Corps pilots made a stop in Coeur d'Alene to check out their squadron's heritage. New at 6 here tonight, Bronte Sorotsky is in studio with the impact this visit had on the community and to these pilots. Well, Jordan, although their stop was pretty quick, these pilots made a huge impact on everyone in attendance, especially for one person ready to start the Naval Academy in just a few days. I drove in right as they were flying over, and I was like, that's the F-35s. Excitement filled the Coeur d'Alene Airport's tarmac as Marine Corps pilots made a quick stop to see their own squadron's heritage. In our original CO was Pappy Boynton in World War II. And so, obviously, hometown of Pappy Boynton. So, uh, the Marine Corps League invited us up so we can see our squadron's heritage. People in the crowd were clearly excited to meet these pilots face to face. But that excitement was even greater for Dallin Parrott, who in just 12 days will start at the Naval Academy. So, I got to watch that whole thing, and I've been able to meet uh, three of the flight officers. Officers. Meeting the officers that he could work alongside one day. Dallin says meeting them made his dreams and future even more real. Because you hold them like so high, it almost seems like unreal. And then you meet them and you remember that they're actually people too. And so it, it makes it seem like more realistic. For Soaker, he's just giving back to the next generation of pilots. Something that was done for him when he was starting out. When I was their age, uh, there was a lot of people in the military that took time to make me feel special and and show me the opportunities that we had to serve our country, you know. Well, now this squadron is on its way back to Yuma, Arizona, where it's based. Live in studio, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. A great story, Bronte. Thanks so much for that.